Hola y bienvenidos al baúl de Ron. Recientemente, el mundo está viviendo una pandemia a nivel global. Ahora mismo, casi todos los países del planeta están infectados por este nuevo virus. Son muchas las teorías sobre lo que está pasando, pero una de ellas me ha llamado mucho la atención. Bill Ryan, de Project Camelot y Project Avalon, hace una presentación en vídeo acerca de una entrevista realizada en enero del 2010 a un testigo anónimo, el cual era un ex militar inglés que tiene un cargo importante en Londres en el 2010 y el cual se infiltró sin querer en una reunión de altos masones en el año 2005 en la ciudad de Londres. En esa reunión discutieron su plan a seguir, en el cual plantean una terrible serie de desastres venideros como la Tercera Guerra Mundial, guerras biológicas y un escenario terrorífico posapocalíptico. Es muy curioso cómo la pandemia que estamos sufriendo ahora mismo en el 2020 se ve reflejada en lo que se está diciendo en un vídeo del 2010, y lo cual pudo ser ya planeado en el 2005, cada cual que saque sus propias conclusiones. Pero lo cierto es que es mucha casualidad que en cierta manera esté pasando ahora mismo algo parecido a lo que se nos está relatando en este vídeo. ¿Estaba todo planeado? ¿La élite está detrás de todo lo que está pasando? Dejadme vuestros comentarios sobre este tema. El vídeo original dura sobre unos 50 minutos. Yo solamente he dejado el trozo más interesante donde hace referencia a la pandemia que estamos viviendo actualmente. Espero que os guste el vídeo, si es así dale a like, compártelo y suscríbete al canal. Gracias y un saludo desde el baúl de Ron. That will be genetically targeted against the Chinese population. It's racially targeted against the Chinese people. It's designed to spread like wildfire and to knock out a large number of the Chinese people. And these people in this meeting were laughing about this. They said, China will catch a cold. Those were their words. China will catch a cold. And they were laughing about the fact that these biological weapons will, will wreak havoc among the Chinese population. And after that, then what effectively will be a kind of plague will actually spread right across the world to the West as well. Our source was not clear whether this was a Chinese retaliation or whether the thing would just spread out of control in the way that it would be very understandable if it did, whether it's racially targeted or not, these things actually mutate. So now you've got a situation where there's been a limited nuclear war in the Middle East. There's a pandemic that really is sweeping across the world and really is killing people very visibly. And you've got this totalitarian military lockdown in all the governments in the Western worlds because everyone's going to be in panic about all of this. And then, he said, then the real war starts. Something that would be justifiably called the Third World War with a much more major nuclear exchange. And at this point, I asked him, is this just about population reduction? What is this about? Why are they doing this? Why this insane... Dr. Strangelove plan for just unleashing all of this stuff on the world. Why do it? Now, as our conversation went on, I started to, to, to find answers to those questions. Now, some of this is speculation. I want to share this speculation with you because it's important enough that we work together here to figure out what's going on. And there are some clues, there are some very important clues that I'm going to present to you here in this video. He said, absolutely, it's about population reduction. So I said, well, in this meeting, did they mention 
any figures? And he said, yes, they did, 50%. Half the world's population, this is planned as per the Georgia Guidestones. For those of you who don't know what the Georgia Guidestones are, it's a stone monument in Georgia, in America, that was erected anonymously a number of years ago. It's in eight languages, and it's like an Illuminati manifesto for a new world, as it were. And just hold that thought about this being a manifesto for a new world. This is an important concept here in what I'm presenting. One of the key parts of this manifesto for this new world is that there should be a population of 500 million people. Now, 500 million people is an enormous reduction from the nearly 7 billion that we've got at the moment. That's, that's pretty much 95% of people who, who would no longer be on this planet. And 50% is, is a step towards that. And there's a reason why they're doing all of this. There's a reason why they're in a hurry. There's a reason for this insanity. And when he was explaining this, then he said that they have a name for this plan. This project has got a name. And, and I said, well, what is this name? He said it is called the Anglo-Saxon Mission. The Anglo-Saxon Mission. Now, I'd heard that before. It was something historical, I think, to do with the Crusades quite a long time ago. But I hadn't heard it in the present-day context, and neither had he. And later on, as he continued to tell his story, I began to understand what I thought this might be about. Hence the title of this video, and the reason why I want to share this information with you, because we need to work together to figure out what's going on here. It's extremely important to understand. There's a plan, I believe, that Hitler would be proud of, which is so evil, it's so Machiavellian, it's so hard to face up to, it's so unbelievable, that I need to put it on the table for you so that you can consider whether or not this might be a possibility. The plans that I've been describing are definitely a possibility because he heard them with his own ears in this meeting. Everything I've described up until now, up to and including the a major outbreak, a major outbreak of hostilities after the limited war. So the sequence is as follows. The plan sequence is as follows. Israel attacks Iran, then there's a ceasefire, then uh, during which time there is heavy governmental military controls over populations in all Western countries. Then China is attacked by a biological weapon. It's a flu-like disease that spreads like wildfire. This goes all over the world, and then they have a major Third World War. And then, by this time, 50% of the population will be destroyed. And not only because of the war or the plague, but because, as many of you watching this will understand, the infrastructure goes down in situations like this. Um, there's no food in the supermarkets, there's no gas in the pumps, there's, there's, um, the telecommunication goes down, there may not even be water coming out of the taps. Um, people are, are kind of thrown back into, into a Victorian era without the facilities to handle this, because most people don't have their vegetable gardens, they don't have their horse and cart, they're not able to survive in the way that we used to be able to. We're very, very vulnerable in our technological advancement, we're extremely vulnerable. And of course the controllers know this. At this stage, our source was speculating about why are they in a hurry? Why do they want to do this? And there's a sort of heavy irony here, which is like, I was saying, well, if you're gonna plan the Third World War, then why not take your time over it and get it right? and, and do a really good job. You can, you know, this could be in 20 years' time or 30 years' time, it doesn't really matter. Why is there in such a rush? And our source said that he felt from inside information he's continued to receive that this is still timed for something around 18 months from now. And that puts it around about the middle of 2011. He doesn't know this for sure because these events aren't calendar driven. They're 
they're actually event sequence driven. In other words, this has got to happen before that happens, and then after that the next thing can happen, and then after that the next thing can happen. So a whole lot of things have got to be in place before all the dominoes fall over, so to speak. And they seem to be behind schedule in some of this. There are some planned events that definitely haven't happened. One of the things which I remembered when I was hearing this story was that our source, Henry Deacon, and many of you who've watched uh, Project Camelot videos and read their reports for the last uh, three years will know that when we met Henry Deacon in 2006, he said that in his own inside information was that there would be a war against China in 2008. Now that didn't happen. And all this time, at that time it didn't make any sense, and even now it didn't make any sense. It's like, well, all right, but why do this? Why do this? Why do this? Now, this was his answer. And our source is a pretty smart guy. He's been in the military. It's a totally different story that he didn't debrief in our audio transcript, which you have the opportunity to read, but he's had his own ET experiences in the military. He's got his own sources of information about some of the background for this. He says that he is as sure as he can be that the, that the people who are calling the shots in the world, you can call them the Illuminati, the Controllers, the Cabal, whatever name you have for them, they believe that there is going to be what he called a geophysical event, a major geophysical event. He says that the best information that he's got is that the insiders believe that this is going to happen, or they are concerned that this is going to happen. And many of you watching this will know that this isn't a completely crazy idea. There have been trillions of dollars that have been spent on deep underground bases for some reason, which we don't know why it is. You will know about the seed bank in Svalbard. This is in the public domain where all the seeds of all the plants and all the crops in the world have been buried deep inside a granite vault in northern Norway. There are many precautions being taken as if something might happen that could really threaten some of these valuable resources, including the seed banks of the world. Now, if there is going to be a geophysical event as they believe, this is because it seems to be preserved Illuminati inside knowledge, whether it's true or not, that there are repeated cyclical geophysical events about every 11,500 years. Information about what really happened to Atlantis was very probably in the Great Library of Alexandria that burnt down a couple of thousand years ago. There are persistent rumours that much of that information has been retrieved and it's in the Vatican Library. This is, this is information which is not in the public domain and which the insiders may have access to. Whether it's accurate or not, the important thing is to realise that they probably believe that this will happen and they're making their precautions.